Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing good. I'm on my way into, um, what store is this? Party City. I need to get some balloons. I need um, two balloons, one, one in the numeral one and one in eight, eight for 18. Because tomorrow, February the 3rd, which when you guys see this, it will be already after the 3rd, but uh, Aaron's birthday, his 18th birthday. Oh man, I'm like, ah. <laughs> I have mixed emotions about his birthday. I don't know why. I don't know why. Part of me is happy and part of me is a little bit sad. Um, now I've got two children. He's my youngest. Um, my daughter, she's well off into grown. But anyway, I um, I don't know. It's just different. I I guess because Aaron is my baby, I have cried. I mean, I really have. Don't laugh at me, you guys. I have. I have cried because of the things that we have gone through, you know, throughout the years with Aaron, you know, is quite different from the things that I went through with my daughter, Angela. You know, just just different situation. And I guess because he's my last and... Even as I'm talking to you guys, I'm feeling emotional. <laughs> so I better not talk about this. I never expected to feel like this. I never thought that I would when he got to this age. I never thought that in a million years that I would be, you know, kind of emotional about it. Um, Sam is not. He's okay. I said, well, you know, you're different and you're a father and, you know, I'm a mother. So it's different with mothers. You know, I can't explain it. Even my mother probably does not understand it. She'll be like, oh, Liz. <laughs> so I know she doesn't understand it because she wasn't like that with me. But I guess I'm the only one that understands me. But anyway, I'm here at this party city 15 minutes early. So I just thought I would come back and sit in the car and just wait for 15 minutes. Um... I had got back in the car and took my mask off because I had it on. And then I like to, when I don't need it, I like to just hang it on my ear. Do any of you guys hang it on your ear like this? I like to do that and sometimes it comes off, but we won't worry about that. I was meditating on some Bible scriptures also before I went in because I got up early this morning and made sure Aaron was online for his classes, which I don't need to do. He's like, Mom, I got it. <laughs> going to be 18 soon. Yeah, I know you're going to be 18. That's what I told him. But, you know, sometimes he oversleeps or does not hear his alarm. So, you know, that's when Mother comes in. Yeah, what we're planning to do is nothing major for his birthday um, because... It's a pandemic birthday. That's what I told him. I said, <laughs> unfortunately, you're going to have a pandemic 18th birthday. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, we're going to get him a cake. And I think he wants red velvet. So I'm going to see if I can get a red velvet cake and have them, you know, just write his name on there. Or happy birthday, Aaron. Something like that. Uh, we've got some gifts planned. Um, we're going to take him out to more like a curbside uh, dinner because the restaurants here are open outside but it's too cold it's too cold to be sitting outside uh, somebody's table and I'm not comfortable with that you know my husband is not comfortable either but Aaron you know he's comfortable that he'll sit there and eat and but we're not and we told him we said you know we were sorry that the birthday you know it can't be exactly the way we would like it to be or the way he would like it to be we gotta be safe we gotta do things that are practical and that are safe that's that's the most that's the most important thing safety so i'm all about safety so we're going to uh order call in an order of some food and they'll bring it out you know like curbside so I told him that, you know, you got to just be thankful that you're here, that you're, 
you made it to 18 because there's some people who did not make it and it makes me think of this terrible oh gosh I teared up when I heard about it two teenagers in our city right down the street from where we live were killed in a terrible hit-and-run car accident this past weekend Oh, it was a 17 year old they were two boys a 17 and an 18 year old oh gosh that touched my heart oh man I just ah when we saw the car it was demolished and mm, you know when you see something like that knowing that we have a teenager and he drives and I told my husband I said babe come in here I want you to hear something so I rewound rewound it and let him hear it and Mm, I tell you, it just, you know, I don't know. It's just, it makes you think. That's all, I, that's all I'm going to say. And you have to fight the negative thoughts that come into your mind, you know, knowing that you have a child that's that age too. Thank God it's not him and no, it's never going to be. So that's what my confession is. No evil will befall Aaron, nor will any plague come near his dwelling. Because I believe the angels of God are encamped around, around and about him each and every time he goes out this door. As well as ourselves and my family. But that's where that's what I believe and that's what I confess. But um, it's just, you know, I just feel so sad, so disheartened, heartbroken over that. Because I can imagine... But then I can't imagine, you know, think about the families. They even saw, I mean, they even saw, they even showed the family members running to the scene and people were holding them. And the lady, the mother almost kind of like went down to the ground. I was, oh my gosh, I was tearing up watching. It's just touching, you know, it's, oh, I just, I feel for them. I feel for them. And I even prayed for them. I prayed for them. Yes, I did because, you know, we need prayer. I have compassion for people. I have compassion for when things happen to people. How do you know if anybody else is praying? Hopefully somebody else prayed for them. But even if they didn't, you know, I prayed. I said, I got to do what I got to do. I'm a Christian. I know to pray. I pray for any and everybody, any and every situation. Okay, so prayer works. I don't know. I'm just waiting for them to open. Oh, okay, they're open. So I may take you guys in that I may not. So... Let's go. Okay, I'm looking for some wrapping paper or gift bags. I'm not sure what I'm going to get. But I see they got their cute bowls. Aaron likes red, so there's a red one there. I don't know. These are cute too. You know, boys don't care about <laughs> things like this, bowls and things, but I don't know. We'll see. Some tissue paper. 99 cents. Okay, they don't have a lot of gift bags, I see. They have some over here. But not... Let me see. Oh, here's one. This one's a dollar ninety nine. so that one's cute has red in it because he likes red. Here's some cellophane paper. I don't know if I want to get that. Mm. Aren't you ever afraid that it's going to pop? Huh? Are you ever afraid those are going to pop? Sometimes. Ooh. 
I'm getting back. <laughs> okay, she said. Okay, she said something where you put something in there to last until tomorrow. Oh, did you, did you get that? I hope so. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll I meant to, because birthday is tomorrow, and I don't want it. I don't oh. want them going down. Oh, okay. I'll put it in there right now. I'll okay. Okay guys, I'm back home as you can probably tell. And I've got a teeny weeny, and I mean a teeny weeny haul for you. Um, I stopped into Dollar Tree, no, what was this? Dollar Tree at 99 cent store just to get these few items. Nothing special. I got a pack of um, two candles in red. And I got one of these paperweight um, decor things. And they, they are all bent. I'm gonna have to fix it. I don't know how it got bent. Probably in the bag, but I'll fix it. But just a Valentine paperweight. And I'm pretty sure you already saw my pink one in my, um, in my uh, what do you call that? Valentine's coffee station. But see, just like the red one, nothing special, but I like it. I think these are so pretty with the little white hearts on it. So I picked up those two, plus the candles, and I got a pack of these smaller uh, circular ones in apple cinnamon. These are really cute. These are tea lights, so these are cute. Then you guys already saw this, my doilies, my pink heart doilies. These are so pretty. I love these. I mean, you can use these all year round if you want to. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day use it for any purpose then i got two packs of these tissues now i like to use these in my car we put these in the little side pockets of the front seats and the back seats inside the console or inside of the glove compartment because they come in handy and they're very small and you don't have to be worried about getting anything big you know like those big boxes and last but not least i Got these from Dollar Tree, I know for sure. Now these are so cute. These are the salad plates and uh, I love the color, so pretty. I got six of these. Now I heard that they have um, dinner plates as well, but you know, I didn't see them when I went in. I wasn't looking for them. I just happened to be walking in and just watching, you know, just to see what they have and I came across these, but you know what? I'm going to try to go back and hopefully they will have the dinner plates because I would love to have it. Just imagine the big red uh, dinner plate and then you put this right in the center there. That would look so pretty. A big... Okay, I just wanted to share with you how I decorated my mantle for Valentine's Day. Just something a little simple, nothing too much. I've got my bling um, vase there, flower vase and some beautiful red roses in there. Beautiful roses. Then here I have a picture of me and my husband when we got married, my love. <laughs> and here's another one of my loves. This is Aaron when he was a little baby. A lot of people say that he's my twin, so I guess you're right. He does look like me a lot. I don't have a picture of my daughter um, on this mantle i have her stored away but um, she would be included on here as well but i just happened to find i just happened to find this one really quick so i grabbed it and grabbed the wedding uh picture of us and just set it there i have some rose petals just laid out on the top and then i've got my candle sticks with two candles in there and my two um red valentine uh little picks these paperweights it says happy valentine's day and the red candles inside of those 
Oh, over here, I forgot about over here. Here's another paperweight. And here's another vase. And I have two heart picks in there. And that's it. Just something cute. I didn't want to do too much. I just wanted to do something simple. And simple it is. But it's very elegant and very pretty. Okay, here's the birthday bag that I got. I did pick this one up. Thought it was really cute. I forgot to show this to you guys when I was sharing with you the other little things. And uh, let's see, what else? Just this small little bag. I don't know why. Well, I wanted red, but they didn't have red. So I got that one. It's just a cute little um, bag and then some tissue paper. So also, let me show you what I, one of the gifts I got him. And he's going to love this because he's been asking me for it. Even though I think it's a female perfume, but you know, it is what it is. It's called the Angel Perfume by Mugler. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but I have it and it smells divine. Uh, that's what it looks like. It's so pretty. But I don't, you know, I told him, I said, this is a lady's perfume and he thinks it's for anyone, but I don't know. I hope no one teases him about it. <laughs> but that's what he wanted, so. Also, I got this uh, bracelet that I got from Sharon. She's so fabulous. This is one of the gifts I got. This is a unisex uh, bracelet that Aaron likes. I asked him one time and I showed it to him on her little Etsy shop that she sells these things. And he said he liked it. So I decided to pick this up. And this is a three part. It's one hole, but it has three little uh, different bracelets attached to it. So I thought that was really cute. He said he liked it. So that's what I got. And she packaged it really cute in this box. So. I'm gonna put the link in my description box if you guys are interested in purchasing anything in her Etsy shop. She sells a lot of jewelry, um, different items. So I'll put the link in there and just go check it out and see if you like to purchase anything.